Hey fam, welcome to my channel. I am Dorika, and if you're new here, by all means, get comfortable. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Look around at the content that I create. If you find that you like it and you want more, please like and subscribe. And for my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for coming on back. Remember that you all are always welcome in this house. So today, fam, we're going to be putting some DTF prints on this hoodie. We're going to be putting it on the front. We're going to put it on the sleeves. And we're going to be putting it on the back. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. DTF on a hoodie. So if you want to if you want to see what I'm going to be putting on this hoodie today, come on. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so here is me printing our images for the hoodie right here. So here is me um, putting some black powder on one of the images for the hoodie. Um, of course, I'm using black powder because I'm using a black hoodie so when you use dark colored when you use dark colored garments you want to use dark powder um the dark powder helps the um the fibers of the garment to not show through your image as much and so i'm doing a black hoodie so i'm using black powder and this is just one of the images i'm not going to do all of them but this is just one of them to show you what i'm doing I have several other videos um, showing me do the whole process. So this is just a snippet of what I do in DTF. And so this is one of the images that's going to go on the pocket. Shaking the excess powder off. And now I'm going to go put it in the oven for about two minutes. So I'm over here at the oven. I'm going to put this image in here. Um, for about two minutes and the oven is set on 250 degrees so I'm going to put it in there and turn it on and let it go for about two minutes and there we are all right our image is now finished so let's take it out the oven and it is done and what you want um, with these DTF prints you want that orange peel look as you can see on the back orange peel and that's what it looks like and again that's the front so yeah that's what we got y'all first y'all we got the hoodie already on the heat press um, I'm gonna lint roll it and then we're gonna put our first image on here on the front Might need a new sheet of lint paper. That one looks like that. So we got a fresh lint paper and we're gonna roll it, lint roll it. Like so. And then gonna get the first image, which is this Houston Rockets logo for the front. Gonna put this on here. Kind of get it even as I can. Uh, like I said, I just eyeball it. Sometimes it works out for me. Sometimes it doesn't. So. I think that's about okay. So I'm going to straighten it up some. Um. I forgot my parchment paper. Hold on. So I think that's about even for me. So now I'm going to put my parchment paper on here. And then I'm going to um, press it. 
for about you can press it for about 15 to 20 seconds so I'm gonna press it for about 20 seconds and then I'm gonna do our next press That was 20 seconds. And so while that's cooling, I'm going to go ahead and press the, um, the sleeve. Get it lined up here. Maybe I'll turn it the long way. Grab my lint roller. I don't even think I pre-pressed the um the front, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-press the sleeve for about five seconds or so. I'm not gonna close it all the way, I'm just gonna let it hover over it and um just pre-press it for a little bit. You can close it all the way if you want to. I'm just doing this for now. Alright, so got that pre-pressed. And so this is the next image I'm going to be using is rockets. It says the rockets. And so I'm just going to put this across the sleeve. About right there. I think it's good for me. Well, I'm bring it down a little bit right there. Mm, I think that's good enough for me. And so I'm going to get my parchment paper and I'm going to press this for 15 seconds. So that's done. And so I'm gonna let that cool. Um, and so while that's cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this, this other film off that we did a few minutes ago because this should be cool now. Alright, so that is cool. My film had a little dent in it right there, but it's going to be okay. I knew it before I pressed it, but I just thought that it wouldn't show. But we can deal with it. Alright. And so now that we got that one, first we're going to press our other sleeve. Go ahead and let it roll it first, then pre press it. Alright. Try to stretch it out some more. And bring it around here. Alright, let's pre-press this. 
Like I said, I'm just going to hold it down some. I could close it all the way. But it's an auto open press. And for me to open earlier than 15 or 20 seconds, I have to push the red button. And I don't feel like getting up pushing the red button. So we're just going to do it like this for now. And just let it open up manually by itself while I hold it down. So now that is pre-pressed. And so, make sure I got it the right way. Now, we're going to do this. Houston, Houston. Um, this side says Houston, and the other side says Rocket. So, that's what we're going to put on here now. Be kind of centered, and we're gonna press it for 20 seconds. All right, that is 20 seconds. So we gotta let that cool, and while we're letting that cool, we are going to. Um, take this paper off the rocket side because this should be cool so we're going to go ahead and peel this off then at the end we're going to go ahead and we're going to press all the areas over for about 20 seconds just to make sure that it's all the way adhered to our sweatshirt our hoodie um, but we're going to say that for the end. We're going to just pre-press it all at the end. And so, got that done. Letting the other side cool. And, while we're letting that cool, we are going to go to the back, I mean the bottom of this pocket. And we're going to put an image on the pocket. What, I'm, um, what I should do is turn it so this is facing this way. So this other part is hanging out the heat press. I don't want to keep heating that other logo up. So I'm let that hang out the heat press and turn it this way. And this is the image for the pocket. It's just the city of Houston. The skyline, I believe, and that's what we're gonna put right here. All right, so I'm gonna put some parchment paper on top of this. And we're going to press this for 20 seconds. All right. Got that pressed for 20 seconds. And so we're going to let that cool. And we're going to go ahead and take this off. Because it should be cool. Right, so we got that done. Image for the hood as well. So we're gonna let roll this hood. And then just gonna put an R, the Houston logo, on here again. Right here on this hood. Kind of center that. And we're gonna press that for 20 seconds. Might have to press that a little bit longer because I think I didn't close it. You know what? I'm going to let that go. And we're going to see. I might repress it. If it doesn't come up once it cools, I'll repress it. 
But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that and I'm going to press the other side of the hood. Let roll that. And here we go. Right there. So let's press that for 20 seconds. Alright, so we're gonna let that cool. And while this hood is cooling, we're gonna go ahead. And take this city off of here. This should be cool. Maybe. All right, so we got that off of there. And got that done. And while we're waiting on that hood to cool, Got an image for the back. So we're gonna lint roll the back, and this is the last image right here for the back. Pre-press it first. I didn't pre-press it, so let me move that string out the way. And then pre-press it. I think some of that string. Actually, let's go ahead and peel these. That should be cool. And then we'll pre-press it. And take the other one off. All right, so let me get that other string out of here. Now, let it hang over. And then pre-press this center part. Get the moisture out. I was going to order me one of those um, the t-shirt things but I haven't ordered it yet. I'm still going to order it. I just keep forgetting to order y'all. Maybe I can get some more accurate measurements but until then it is what it is. I think that's okay for me. And so get our parchment paper cover it up and press it for 20 seconds. Like I said, I normally do 15 to 20 seconds. Lately, I've been doing 20. And it seems to work better for me, so. It is what it is. Alright. So, we got that on. So, we're going to let that cool for about a minute or so. And while we're doing that. We can go ahead and begin to press all the rest of our um, images that we've already done over again for like um, 20 seconds just to make sure it's properly adhered to the garment. I like to do that. Some people don't, some do, but I probably do about 15 seconds just to make sure it's properly adhered. All right. So that's done. And now should have probably done this with a Teflon sheet, but I don't see no Teflon sheet. But this will be okay. Oh, here go one. You can do it with a Teflon sheet. I use a Teflon sheet or butcher paper. It really, um, well, 
I probably should have took this off first. I forgot it was still on here, y'all. Well, let me take this off. Because I think I probably burnt, trying to burn some of me. Okay. It's okay. I took it off. So. Got the sleeve. Now let's do this part. Twenty seconds. All right, so that's done. So I still got the little dent right there that was in here before I pressed it. I knew that it was on there, but I didn't feel like reprinting it. So it is what it is. Um, it'll be okay. It's a gift. It's a gift, so since it's a gift and nobody's purchasing it, then I believe it's going to be okay. So, let's do the same here. 20 second press. And... You gotta do the back. Is our last press for the back. So I think we've already pre pressed all the rest of these. And let's see if I want to add anything else to the back. Trying to see, do I want to add some rest to the back, y'all? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I might add some rest to the bottom to kind of fill this back out. But for right now, I'm going to leave it like this. And this is going to be it. So we're done with the hoodie. And this is one side of the hood right here. And this is the other side of the hood right here. And that is the front of the hoodie right there. That's the front. And the sleeves. I'm still unsure about the placement of the words on the sleeve, but I think I did an okay job. So Houston. And... Like I said, I'm still unsure about the placement of words, but this is my first hoodie kind of like this in this style. So I think I did good for it. And that's the other sleeve rockets. And that's the bottom of the front of the hoodie where I did like the Houston skyline right there. And that is what we got on the back. Houston Rockets, another um logo. And I may go back and put some on the bottom later. I'm not. I'm still not sure about that. But as for now, this is our final product. And I think I did an okay job. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I do. I do. You ain't ready to leave my house. But guess what? Guess what? You ain't got to go home, though. But you're going to have to catch me in my next video. Please like and subscribe. Until then... Bye, y'all.